What's up, G.I. Joe collectors? Got a shout out to my fellow collector, Sir Mathis. We wanted to see uh, a particular uh, G.I. Joe uh, that he's been looking for. The uh, John R. Fox. Extremely super rare G.I. Joe. Very hard to find. Uh, I bought this guy when he first came out. You know, just an up close and personal look at him. I bought this guy when he first came out in uh, 2004. From like a Toys R Us. Maybe eight years ago I, I saw him on eBay. And for some ridiculous price. I think somebody was asking for like $200 for him. Um, but this, that just gives you an indication of exa exactly how difficult he really is to get. Check his back out. These guys come with great cover stories. Excellent cover stories. And you can see that there's the information on him. See if I can get that zoom in properly. And this guy's he's he's one of my favorites because I think just because of the rarity of him. Uh he he's um I think G.I. Joe did a great job. Uh Hasbro did a good job with this particular one. Uh putting this guy together. Uh it's a shame that they don't make these guys really anymore. Um, just for the general public, I mean, you can go to a lot of the conventions, the G.I. Joe con conventions and the, the collectors clubs, but, uh, it's, it's just a shame, uh, okay, I'm sorry, I gotta get my finger out of the way. It's a shame that this, you know, they don't make these guys anymore. Apologize for that. Just an all around view. Got another guy right here. Uh, another hard to find one is the Green Beret. Very difficult to find. Um, I think this was another uh, one that was on Sir Mathis' uh, top 10 list. I don't know if he has him now, but I located him. I said, let me bring him out. Give you a quick look at him. Up close. Like I said, I never take them out the box. Um, everything's mint in box. Uh, this guy right here, uh, true story. I actually had somebody that actually wanted to purchase this guy from me. And, uh, and he was willing to pay about $180, $190 for him. But because he's the only one I have, I don't have a dupe. If I had a duplicate, I probably would have given him away. I probably would have sold him. But I don't have a, I didn't have a duplicate, so... A uh, fellow collector of mine uh, wanted him very desperately. Couldn't get him. Sorry for the dust there. He doesn't get out much. <laughs> so that's just a quick pan out a little bit. Give you a shot of him. That's just a quick shot of him. And... Uh, I'll be posting this soon. Um, and please, uh, fellow collectors, if you have any other, you know, Joes that you might want to see or you don't, that you're looking for, you don't have, I might be able to help you out or have it or something. You want me to do a review on it, uh, just ask. It's no problem. Uh, this is the fun part about being a collector. Uh, we, we have the, the best hobby on the planet is collecting these guys. And uh, it, it's just a joy to do and uh, to share, you know, the information with each other. So it, this is cool. Um, I'm, I'm having a blast. So, guys, I'm tuning out. Appreciate the love and the support. And as always, keep collecting. Peace.